democracy, the God that failed, the economics and politics of monarchy, democracy, and natural order, written by Hans Hermann Hopper and narrated by Paul Strickwerda. Acknowledgements Most of the following studies have grown out of speeches delivered at various conferences sponsored by the Ludwig von Mises Institute and the Center for Libertarian Studies. Several of them have been published previously at different locations and in various translations. However, for the present occasion, all of them have been systematically revised and substantially enlarged. I thank Llewellyn H. Rockwell, Jr., President of the Ludwig von Mises Institute, and Burton S. Blumert, President of the Center for Libertarian Studies, for their continual support, financially and personally, in developing and elaborating the ideas presented here. Others who afforded me a forum to express and test my ideas and thus contributed to the present work include Christian Komenescu, Robert Neff, Gerard Rednitsky, Jiri Schwartz, Jesus Huerta de Soto, and Joseph Sima. Thanks go to them, as well as to an anonymous benefactor for his ongoing financial support. For many years, I have been blessed with the friendship of Walter Bloch, David Gordon, Jeffrey Herbener, Guido Husman, Stefan Kinsella, Ralf Reiko, and Joseph Salerno. While none of them can be held responsible for any of my ideas, all of them, through suggestions and criticisms in countless conversations, as well as their own scholarly writings, have exercised an indelible effect on my thinking. Even more important has been the influence of Ludwig von Mises and Murray N. Rothbard. My intellectual debt to their work is notable and, I can only hope, has been dutifully and adequately acknowledged throughout the following studies. To Murray N. Rothbard, with whom I was fortunate to have been closely associated during the last decade of his life, I further owe a profound personal debt. His friendship and his example of moral courage and of the ability to stay kind and indeed cheerfully optimistic in the face even of seemingly overwhelming adversity have deeply and lastingly affected my own conduct and outlook on life. Last but not least, I thank my wife, Margaret Rudlich Hopper, not just for assuming more than twenty years now the thankless task of editing my English writings, but for always finding the time and energy in between her work, household, and care for our two teenage children to provide me with encouragement, comfort, and happiness.